Right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I transform this flower bed into this. But before we get into it, this video is part of my garden renovation series. And so far, I've built a retaining wall, I've laid a patio, I've started a brand new lawn from scratch using grass seed in the back garden. So if you'd like to check out any of those videos, head over to my channel, and if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Now, it's not a massive change because, you know, the plants are only small at the moment, but uh, hopefully they're gonna grow in time and start to fill that space in front of the, uh, the, the fence that's next to it. Now, I'm just gonna talk you through all the different steps that I took to put this flower bed in place. I'm by no means an expert to any of this, but just thought I'd give you a bit of an idea of how I put it together myself. So I started off with a string line, ran that along the length of the flower bed, and then used the edging tool just to edge out the space that I wanted to cut out. We did decide to bring this flower bed slightly further forward and the reason for this was that we just wanted the flowers to have a little bit more room because where we planted them a couple of years ago they just wedged right up against that fence and it just doesn't seem like they've got any room to grow and they end up just looking a bit weird how they've not got their own space and you can see there as well i just found some plastic from when we were putting the hardcore on the space where the patio is now and the book ended up falling to bits So I went through and I made some more cuts with the edging tool and this just made things easy when it came to digging out the turf that was there. I was trying not to take out too much of the soil because there was some good soil underneath that turf. So I was just taking off the top layer, trying to get the roots of the grass off and then hopefully then I could just put the compost down and put the plants in place. Using the edging tool at first really helped because it helped us get that really sharp line along the flower bed. Because that was the main aim of this, was really to separate the flower beds from the grass in a much more defined way. We did trim back the big bush in the middle as well. I think it's a lavender plant. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure. I think it's lavender, it smells quite nice. But yeah, so we cut it back because it was looking a little bit wild. This was the first trim that it's actually had this year. So a bit of a prune on this before we put any more plants in place. Right, so I picked up this lawn bordering and you can tell it's not very sturdy, it's quite flimsy stuff. It's about 100 mil tall, so it's gonna be enough just to prevent any of the grass along here uh, mixing with any of the compost for the plants at the back. And hopefully it'll stop weeds and things passing through if there are any towards the edge. And what I'll do is just keep a nice clean line over there. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install this now over on the um, border of the flower bed. Right, so you can see that the lawn bordering is exactly the same height as this lawn edging tool. So the idea is, if I dig this into the ground up until this point, hopefully all of this should uh, fit into the gap along the flower bed. And you know, we might have half, half centimeter sticking out, uh, five mil, something like that, but it's, you know, it's not the end of the world. At the end of the day, it's there to separate the grass from the plants in the, uh, in the border. Right, so you can see there now, I've dug a trench all the way along, just using this uh, lawn edging tool. And hopefully now, uh, in theory anyway, the lawn edging should just slot straight in. Hopefully there's not a lot of this sticking out because I want, want it to look like a really clean edge going up to the top. Something I did find when I was installing this as well was that it wasn't the easiest stuff to work with. Now, with it being quite flexible, it made it really difficult for when I was like pushing it into the ground. And you can see there's a few times where I just have to get the edging tool. I have to press it again into the soil just to give it a bit more space for the lawn edging to fit into. It was a bit fiddly to work with, but don't get me wrong, this was decent stuff. I mean, it's only cheap. You can pick it up from most local garden centers, places like B&Q as well, will stock this sort of lawn edging. So it's not the best stuff in the world, but it does the job. Because at the end of the day, all you're trying to do is make that border a bit more defined between your flower beds and your lawn itself. Right, 
and then it came to planting the plants into the flower bed too. So what we're doing is taking a bit of soil out of there, putting some compost in and placing the plants in and pressing some compost around it. Now, as we've brought this flower bed further forward now, we're able to use the middle of this patch and the flowers and the plants are hopefully going to just have a little bit more room to grow as we get into the summer now. And to top it all off, I put a layer of bark down just so that the soil can retain that moisture once the plants have been watered. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, if you'd like to keep up with the garden renovation or to see any of the previous videos, feel free to subscribe. I've got lots of different videos in the pipeline at the moment, such as putting lawn bordering at the front of the retaining wall and making a flower bed there. And I'm also gonna be tackling the top tier in the next couple of weeks. I'm hoping to put some bordering in and I'm gonna be seeding a new lawn up there from scratch and putting some box hedges across the front too so if you are interested like i said subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching